Greetings loopers and welcome back. I'm Mighty Mishok and I invite you to join me as we take another look beyond Battle Royale. For this video I want to speculate a bit about what an open world simulation sandbox could be. If you tuned in last time you'll remember we discussed how Epic Games had used this term to describe its plan to take Fortnite beyond the Battle Royale game mode. I'll put a link to that previous video in the description. Whilst we have not seen any concrete evidence from Epic as to what this means, I'm going to break this term down to see if we can make some preliminary assumptions. Interestingly, Open World Simulation Sandbox is actually three distinctive game types which Epic have chosen to amalgamate into one. However, they do share some overlap which I'll come back to. Let's take a look at each in turn. Open world games are characterised by a large game map and importantly an abundance of things to do. Games such as Red Dead Redemption 2, the GTA series and Zelda Breath of the Wild are all open world games. Whilst Fortnite displays some elements of an open world game, the map is comparatively smaller and less dense, the quests are fairly shallow and of course the storm dictates where you go. Next up is simulation. I have to say I find this the most ponderous game type of the three because it covers such a broad range of games. Any game where you are simulating another's role could potentially fall under this category. I guess the most obvious game to mention here is The Sims 4, a life simulation game. In Fortnite there are currently a number of traditional simulation games in creative, but I guess you could also say that each player in Battle Royale is simulating the role of a looper. We also of course have the Save the World game mode, where the story is much more prominent at the expense of an open world and is completely separate to the island and Battle Royale. Finally we come to Sandbox. This is an interesting one and the origin of Sandbox games is that they offer gamers the ability to play with little or no objectives for just the sheer joy of playing. In my mind Minecraft is one of the best examples of this. In Fortnite currently Battle Lab is the closest thing we have to a Sandbox game mode. So what have we learned from this little exploration and what assumptions could we make about a Fortnite mode defined as an open world simulation sandbox? It's safe to say that the elements of these game types already exist in Fortnite. It is essentially an open world map, there is a degree of questing and exploration, there is a story which gives players a role to simulate and there is a dedicated sandbox mode. I think it is also fair to say that these three game types all share a degree of overlap. Take the game Skyrim as a good example of this. It has a huge open world map, you play as the last of the Dragonborn and you're free to wander off aimlessly with no goal in mind much like a sandbox. Here though is the point of difference, Fortnite and Skyrim are so completely different you'd be unlikely to compare the two. There are many reasons for this, one being that Fortnite is a game which is constantly evolving and brings players together. It was never designed to be a massive open world exploration game. So then. To wrap this one up, do we think that in the future there will be a Fortnite mode much like GTA Online or Red Dead Online? I hope you'll join me next time when we look at some of the evidence pointing us in that direction. Until next time loopers, stay scrappy.